A packed house at City Hall today for a hearing on a new direction for animal services in San Diego. After 45 years of contracting with the county, it's no longer an option. As 10 News anchor Jim Patton reports, the best choice to take over the job may be the only choice. City staff starting today's committee hearing by announcing that, first of all, they thought the only qualified candidate for this job was the San Diego Humane Society, a need that arose because the county announced this past year that they were no longer going to provide animal services for cities. They wanted to concentrate now on their own unincorporated areas. They did put out a contract proposal for everybody, but we were the only ones to step up. I think just because we have the staffing abilities, uh, the facilities to be able to, to make this happen. And that's Steve McKinnon, Chief of Humane Law Enforcement for the San Diego Humane Society. About 100 people, many of them wearing blue shirts from the San Diego Humane Society, filling every seat available in the committee chamber. They're supporting a nearly $14 million, 18-month contract to allow the city to assess the animal care capabilities of the San Diego Humane Society. Of course, the Humane Society has long worked in this arena, sharing the same shelter campus on Gaines Street with the county's Animal Services Department. But last May, the county announcing it would not be contracting those services to cities anymore, instead focusing on its own unincorporated areas, basically to save money. Well, today's meeting appeared to be almost entirely filled with supporters. We did find one woman, an animal activist, who says the new contract only calls for an 80% save rate. In other words, 20% of the animals could be euthanized, and she wants that raised to 85% on the save rate, on par with what the county is presently providing. Revise this contract and change that language in the contract. I did share her concern with the Humane Society, and they tell me actually their save rate is well above 80%. It's currently 94%, and their quest will be able to maintain that success rate. Reporting at City Hall, Jim Patton, 10 News.